Hey, hi. Amana Jatra registrations have begun uh, from April 11th, 2022. Today is April 14th, uh, and uh, I'm gonna share you the Amana Jatra itinerary, like uh, how to reach, uh, how to go from Srinagar, which route you need to take, where to stay, what can you eat, and what you get it there, everything, etc., etc. So now let's start. Now we'll talk about how to reach Amarnath. For going to Amarnath, you need to reach first to Srinagar, either by road or by air or by flight. I suggest you, you take a flight and reach Srinagar. From there, you need to go either to Baltal or Pahalgam. So there are two routes. Both the routes are approximately around 90 kilometers. So you can take any other route. First, we'll talk about the Baltal route. Uh, for going from Baltal route, which is the shortest route, total distance is about 14 kilometers to reach the Amarnath cave. But that route is quite difficult route. If you are fit, then you can take this route. You will get ponies as well as uh, dandies in this route. But ponies, I'm not sure about that. But dandies, you will get it there in that route. So Baltal route, if you go, if you take a Baltal route, it will take maximum one or two days round trip. You can go to Amarnath and come back to Baltal, Baltal base camp. So if you're fit, I suggest you, you take a Baltal route. Now we'll, uh, now we'll talk about the second route, which is uh, Pahalgam to Amarnath uh, Shrine uh, Cave. This route is quite easier route and uh, it will be easy even for uh, senior devotees, uh, the Pahalgam route. So this route is about uh, 40 to 45 kilometers and uh, this route takes about uh, one week for a round trip and uh, you will get ponies, dandies and palkis also in this route. And even uh, the, this route is quite scenic. So if you want to see a scenic view, then you can take this route. So that is like Pahalgam base camp to uh, Amarnath uh, Shrine Cave. There is also one more option. Uh, you can take a uh, helicopter route. Uh, that is like from uh, Baltal to Panchthani. From Panchthani, a two kilometer trek is there to reach the uh, Amarnath Cave. And from Pahalgam also, you can take a fly, uh, helicopter, which is about uh, from, from Pahalgam to Panchthani. Then from there, again, a small trek is there, around 5 kilometers to reach to Amarnath Cave. Even this option you can take, but you need to carry a compulsory health certificate. Those things I will be telling you in the end, because while registering for the application, that time you need to even submit the compulsory health certificates. Those things, at the end, I will tell you how to do the registration and all. The cost for the helicopter charges are around 1,800 from Baltal to Panchthani. And from Pahalgam to Panchthani, it cost around 3,000. Uh, now we'll talk about the accommodation. Uh, Sri Amarnath Shrine Board has set up lots of uh, camps and tents throughout the uh, Baltal, Panchthani and many places like Shishnath, Nilgrath and all. So they charge you around uh, 250 to 500 rupees for that. So you can use that facilities. If not, even you, even, uh, you can take the private accommodations also. They charge you around 500 to 1000 rupees. So that depends upon you, which you want, you can take that. Now we'll talk about the food options. Uh, throughout the Amarnath Yatra route, uh, you will be provided with uh, water, food and uh, refreshment. Even uh, there is also a langar services uh, in many several spots. So you won't be, so you don't, you don't need to worry about that. Uh, even in uh, Baltal helipad, that's a cafeteria. If you are using a Baltal helicopter service, then even you can take advantage of that. You get lots of facilities uh, during your uh, Amarnath uh, Yatra tour. Uh, like uh, booking for buses uh, across in, in many places like Baltal and Pahalgam and uh, also you get medical facilities uh, en route to your uh, Amarnath uh, route for all yatris you get uh, medical facilities and uh, one more thing is there you get a cloak room also cloak room uh, in Amarnath Shrine Cave is there in Baltal it's there you can use that also if you want and uh, you can even arrive in your personal vehicle uh, that's a parking facility near uh, Baltal base camp and even uh, Pahalgam base camp and uh, even BSNL network is available en route and even you can get a BSNL SIM card if you want over there itself for Yathris they are providing it. The itinerary is over now. Uh, it's very simple only. Uh, now I'll show you the registration process and what documents uh, you need to carry and all. Yeah, now I'll show you how to register for Amarnath Yatra. You need to go to Sri shrine.com In this website, you need to click here uh, register click here to register online in this you need to click the register after that the OTP process 
here and all it's uh, it's written like this you need to have a otp verification is also there after this click i agree then register then here you select the which route you want to take baltal or pahalgam i'm choosing baltal then the date which one you want 30th june is already full i think so yeah only one is left so no use of 30th june you can take whichever date you want it's up to august 11th uh, 2022 so you did you can take which date you want then check uh, then check the availability it's 3000 2995 it's left after this in yatri details write your full name then husband name then gender then date of birth in date of birth for going to amarnath yatra the starting age is 13 and the maximum age is 75 so 13 to 75 only are allowed uh, for amarnath yatra and even 6 uh, weeks uh, pregnancy 6 uh, weeks pregnancy after 6 weeks of pregnancy also they are not allowed to amarnath yatra so after putting the date of birth you need you put the mobile number then emergency mobile number then state union territory which state you are those things then district then uh, name of the next of the kin the relation to the relationship with the kin then blood group and yatri address then put your, your address after that this is very important one medical details put your state location select the hospital which you want for example i'll show you i'm from tamil nadu so i'll select tamil nadu then location i'll select it as chennai then hospital it is showing all the government hospitals in chennai so in this for me the nearest is this one so i selected this in this you need to take the compulsory health certificate from these people so after taking there you need to upload your photograph here then the medical certificate here then the issuing date after this you need to uh, fill the captcha then tick the i agree button and submit after this you need to make the payment the payment for per yatri is around 200 or 220 rupees so that's it take this document your id proofs and compulsory health certificate after that you can go to amarnath uh, yatra so this is the method of doing the registration it's quite easy only not so difficult even you can also do it so this is over now if you have any other queries uh, you can contact me i will reply as soon as possible even we are planning to go to uh, amarnath yatra uh, in this uh, season uh, after the two years of pandemic uh, on uh, august maybe so we might even also cover even kashmir as well as uh, amarnath yatra so stay connected with us if you like this subscribe to our channel bye for now how to reach you need to reach uh, shrinagar either by bus or by air or by road i suggest you you come through a flight 